Good morning. Happy Friday to each one. It is now time to review our lesson that we have studied as unto the Lord. And Friday's first question says, What warning should we heed from the parable of the talents? As we studied the parable of the talents, the man that received one talent, he hid his talent. And many today feel that um, they would like to do what that servant did, that the Lord is a hard master, reaping where he has not sown and gathering where he has not strewn. And so they bury their talents. They don't use their talents how they should. We're not to hide our talents. If we don't use our talents but bury them, these talents will be taken from us and we will miss out and be cast out like an unprofitable servant. We're also admonished not to backslide and not to lose our first love, but to change our attitudes. So those are the points that were covered in the first section of the lesson for this week. The second one, which aspect of Jacob's experience is also to be ours and why? If we remember, Jacob, he fought all night with the angel. And in the morning when it was day breaking, he held on to the angel and would not let him go. And we are to do the same. We are to hold on until we receive a blessing. It says, seek the kingdom of heaven with a spiritual violence that would bring it its own reward. We would take it by force as did Jacob. So in our life, we need to hold on to Jesus so tight until we receive a blessing from him. Then the next day, number three, what can we learn from Jeremiah, David and the early apostles? From Jeremiah, from David and our early disciples and apostles, we can learn to be zealous in every situation that we find ourselves in. And in any place, wherever we are, we are to be zealous. When we are on the Lord's side, nothing can stop us. Question number four. How might we be manifesting symptoms of misguided zeal? By using that zeal to gratify one's self instead of directing that zeal to the work of the Lord. That's how these symptoms are manifested. And the last question, what characterizes genuine zeal? Zeal should always be uniform, manifesting a holiness of character. Genuine zeal should fire our hearts with a longing to tell the story of redeeming love, of Christ and him crucified. May God help each one of us to have the earnestness, the zeal and the vigour in carrying out his holy will. May God bless you all and be of good courage until Jesus comes. God bless.